Hey, I wanted to show you guys uh, these two Mossberg 500s. Um, one of them is from a 1960s era, uh, so it's a little bit older model. And then we have a newer one on top that's probably from about the 1980s era. And we're going to show you the differences between the two. Um, we're going to come out with uh, kind of a three-part video, with this one being uh, the first video that uh, I'm going to do. And then our second video will be how to disassemble the... Uh, shotgun and the third video will be to clean the shotgun so in this video I'll just go through the differences between the two shotguns and how to operate the shotgun so on the bottom here we have the Mossberg 500 and on the top we also have another Mossberg 500 on the bottom we have one that's a pre-1968 on the top we have one that's post-1968 to identify the shotgun on the bottom we have this as a Mossberg 500A with the A designating that it's a 12 gauge shotgun. On the bottom of the newer Mossberg, we have Mossberg 500AB with the A being 12 gauge. So you are able to identify the shotgun shell used by this shotgun on the bottom of the receiver. The best way to identify what this thing shoots though is on the barrel. And the older shotgun we have here happens to shoot 12 gauge and two and three and quarter inch long shells. That's two and three and quarter inch long only. This will not shoot three inch shells. Um, that's pretty common for older shotguns. Now on our newer shotgun, if you look on the barrel, we have two and three quarter inch and three inch shells. So this shotgun will shoot both shells. If you notice, and now 12 gauge only. Now if you notice, both these barrels are a little bit different in color as well. The older one's barrel has been refinished. This finish that's kind of a, a light gray is a parkerized finish. And the finish on the newer shotgun's barrel is called a blued finish. And it's a more glossy finish. Now some folks like the uh, parkerized finish because it's a little bit more heavy duty. If it scratches, it's a lot less noticeable as opposed to a blue finish. Once you see have a scratch on your barrel, it's pretty easy to see. So the parkerized finish is a little more rugged, utilitarian, and uh, holds up a little bit better. So even though both of these shotguns are very similar, they're from a different generation. So the pre-1968 shotgun has no serial number. The post-1968 shotgun has a serial number. Now, me and a buddy have kind of discussed this, and the only conclusion that we can come up with is this is a result of the 1968 Gun Control Act and they started adding serial numbers after that. So the biggest difference between these two shotguns is on the older shotgun, on the slide action bar, there's only one. If you notice, I'll turn it over. There's not one on the other side. On the newer shotgun, we have one on the left side and one on the right side. Now what these bars do is when you operate the shotgun and you move the pump back, it moves this bolt back to operate it. With one, it seems to put, it could put a little bit more bind on the bolt because it's only working on one side of this bolt here. On the newer shotgun, when you have two, it's evenly putting forces on this bolt to bring it back at a very even and consistent force. So when you first use one of these shotguns and taking a look at it, you wanna make sure that it's unloaded. So I'll show you how to do that. So if you've never handled a shotgun before, there's a button on the bottom called a slide release, right here. Now on the Mossbergs, it's behind the trigger guard. On other shotguns, for example, like the Remington, it's in front of the trigger guard, okay? But what this does is it lets you release the slide up here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna press it, open the slide, okay? So now that you can see that the bolt has been opened, so if you can see down in the chamber, we have no shotgun shell, okay? So this is unloaded. Now always treat a shotgun like it is loaded. Uh, it's still a, could be a very dangerous tool. Just gotta be safe with it. So we're gonna go ahead and close it, okay? Now when you operate the shotgun, if it were to be loaded, okay? You can take it off safe, okay? We'll go ahead and what we'll do is we'll pull the trigger it's fired. Now, once you've done that, you do not have to use the slide release to operate the shotgun. 
After you pull the trigger, it automatically unlocks the bolt. And that would eject the shotgun shell. So the main differences between this new shotgun here and the old shotgun, you know, if you guys are looking for a used one, um, you know, you might find one of the older ones. Uh, a surefire way to tell you if it is an older one is no serial number on the side here. Uh, also, one slide release bar is on the old one. The new ones have two slide release bars. I would personally recommend the two slide release bars. I feel like that uh, really adds more reliability to the shotgun. Um, so if you guys are out there looking at them, you guys have some for sure ways to identify which Mossberg 500 you'd like to pick up. So be sure and watch our other videos for the disassembly and then the maintenance video on how to clean the shotgun.